Let me tell you, it feels great to be standing in the ring here tonight as the winner of the Royal Rumble. Not only did I prove myself against 29 other superstars, but I also earned a chance to challenge for SmackDown's WWE title or Raw's World Heavyweight title in the main event at WrestleMania. That's true, Taz. The Rumble winner has the option of jumping to Raw and facing Triple H for the World Heavyweight title or challenging SmackDown's own WWE champion, John Cena. So without further ado, let me answer the question on everyone's mind and say that at WrestleMania, I've decided that I'm going to challenge for... It's Theodore Long. The general manager has finally returned to SmackDown. And not a minute too soon. We ain't seen Tilo since he was run down months ago. You think he's got something on his mind? Hold up a minute, player. Sorry to step on your big announcement, but I've got a couple announcements of my own. First of all, it's great to be back here on SmackDown. Man, listen to the ovation for Teddy Long. It's been too long since I've been in this ring. Six months ago, somebody tried to take me out of the picture when they ran me down in the parking lot. Now, I'm sure that after all this time, he thinks he got away with it. But you see, there's something he didn't plan on. See, before I lost consciousness, the last thing I saw was the very face of the man who did it. Finally, we're going to find out who ran down Teddy Long. And I'm looking at him right now. What? Oh! It can't be. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Teddy Long must be delirious. Maybe he checked out of the hospital a little too early. Yeah, I guess there's no point on denying it anymore. Yeah, I did it. And I don't regret it one bit. You had it coming, Teddy. Without you around to hold me back, I climbed the SmackDown ladder. I got into the Royal Rumble, and I earned the title match that I deserve. Not to mention the respect that goes with it. Winning the Royal Rumble guarantees me a title match at WrestleMania. That means you can't fire me, Teddy. Like it or not, there ain't much you can do about it. I gotta admit it, player. There's not a lot I can do. But if you challenge for the WWE title and win it, then there's no getting rid of you. And if you jump the Raw and take on Triple H for the World Heavyweight title, SmackDown loses one of its biggest superstars, whether I like it or not. So it looks like all I can do is to make sure that you never make it to WrestleMania. And by the time I'm done with you, dog, you'll be lucky to make it to no way out. You feel me? Now, since we've got some unfinished business that started in a parking lot, then you're going to take on Eddie Guerrero tonight in a parking lot brawl. Holla, holla, holla! The road to WrestleMania begins tonight, but Theodore Long is on a personal crusade to ensure that the number one contender never makes it there. Under the circumstances, I can't say I blame him, Taz.
your winner, Rey Mysterio. is going to do everything in his power to stop the man who ran him down from reaching WrestleMania. That's why Long put him in this steel cage match tonight against JBL, one of the most dominant and brutal WWE champions in recent memory. This kind of match is right up JBL's alley. It ain't even a match. It's mean, dirty, no holds barred. It's just a straight up hardcore fight. The only way to win this is to get out of the cage any way you can. And as you pointed out last week, Taz, if he does make it to WrestleMania, we still don't know which title the number one contender has decided a challenge for. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Oh, man. Right into the cage. You're not going to see action like this anywhere except SmackDown, Cole. You get no argument from me, Taz. SmackDown is the dominant brand in all of sports entertainment. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. He saw that one coming. I'll tell you, anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake, they should get in the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. These are trained WWE professionals. I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE. And he doesn't give a damn what they think. Well, I think this one's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Not too tough to figure out who's gonna win this one. You know, this wouldn't be the first time you've made a prediction that didn't pan out. That's pretty funny. You know what I predict? You keep up with your mouth, you're gonna have a permanent limp. I think someone's been taking flying lessons, Taz. <laughs> nice quick counter. He was one step ahead on that one. If you ever wanted just how much punishment a human body could take, I think you're going to get an answer tonight. You might be right, Taz. It doesn't look like these superstars are going to go easy on each other. That's not what they're getting paid for, Paul. And besides, they got too much pride to give less than 100% in there. I think I've got a pretty good idea who's gonna win this match, Cole. He's bleeding all over the place. This one's getting ugly. It's definitely not pretty, but it's definitely effective, Cole. Look, here's the deal. You make your opponent bleed, and you got the psychological edge over him. Case closed. Maybe so, but I'm more concerned about the risk to his physical well-being now that he's been busted open. These superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. You suck. You suck. You suck. I think this proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Yeah, and even if you did, you'd have to listen to a couple of yahoos jabbering uh, about puppies and, and government mules and uh, scolded dogs. I, I tell you, it's like a damn zoo over there. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Cole? 
everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on a line night after night. Whether you like it or not, there's the match right there. Listen to me, Bischoff. You're the general manager of Raw. You can't let that piece of SmackDown trash come to Raw and challenge for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. This is my title. And he hasn't done a damn thing to deserve a match with me. Actually, he has, Triple H. See, he won the Royal Rumble, which guarantees him a title match for either brand's top title. That's a stipulation that comes from the board of directors. I couldn't do anything about it, even if I wanted to. And quite frankly, were he to make the jump to Raw, I think a superstar of his caliber would be a tremendous asset. An asset? An asset? More like an ass clown, if you ask me. Listen, Bischoff. I damn near killed myself winning a number one contenders match last week. And if anyone's getting a World Heavyweight title match at WrestleMania, it's Y2J. Chris, while it's true that you're the current number one contender, you know that the decision of the Rumble winner supersedes that. If he decides to challenge Triple H, I'm afraid I have no choice but to postpone your title opportunity at WrestleMania number one contender or not. Well, if that's how it's gonna be, then it looks like the cerebral sad sack and I better discourage a certain Rumble winner from coming to Raw. Yes. Yes. Jericho, you may be a sawed off Oompa Loompa, but you know what? For once, I agree with you. Let's go. Teddy Long's pulling out all the stops, Cole. Eddie Guerrero, JBL, now Kurt Angle. He really doesn't want the number one contender to make it to WrestleMania. Well, can you blame him? He ran down Teddy Long in the parking lot six months ago. I can understand why our general manager might hold a grudge against him. He's got an uphill battle tonight taking on the Olympic gold medalist in a match where the WWE Champion is the special referee. There he is, the WWE Champion, John Cena. I gotta hand it to Teddy Long. He knows that the champ is another guy who doesn't want to see the number one contender make it to WrestleMania in one piece. So he made the Doctor of Thugonomics the special referee in this match. Exciting to watch in action. He's so fast, so agile, so talented. I really think he could be a. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? <laughs> Rey Mysterio never fails to impress me, Taz. It seems like every time I see him in the ring, he finds a. And there's the counter, Cole. And this Rey Mysterio has got tons of flash, no doubt about it. An amazing athlete, Cole. He dodged that bullet. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. <laughs> 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 
what a counter that was! is such a man his opponent looked like a punk with that counter these superstars are clearly giving it their all tonight not a surprise there at all Cole I mean tell me the last time that you saw a WWE superstar only go halfway I don't think I ever have Taz everyone up he anticipated that move perfectly This is just a match anymore, Cole. This is getting personal. Well, what do you expect? They've been beating the hell out of each other all match. Yeah, but it's more than that, Cole. I don't think they even look at each other the same way after this one. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? This could be big, but it could backfire real bad, too. He's building up a hit of steam. Oh, man. Here it comes, Cole. 619. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, he was one step ahead on that one. Here's the pin. This could be it. One. I never stop being impressed by Kurt Angle. A multi-time... He could break. pin his opponent right here! No doubt what we're seeing here. These WWE fans are getting their money's worth. If they don't yet, I'm sure they will by the end of the match, Taz. This is not just a match anymore, Cole. What a reversal. This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. What did you expect, Taz? This is SmackDown, after all, the number one brand in sports entertainment. Real He's break. going for the submission, and he might get it. He's got that hole locked in. Man, you talk about an American icon, you talk about a real American hero, you just don't get any better than a man right here, Kurt Angle. Angle certainly represented his country well in the 1996 Olympic Games where he won his gold medal. But ever since then, I think his accomplishments have gone to his head. What? How can you say that, Cole? That's practically, that's, that's more or less un-American. I hope the Department of Homeland Security ain't watching this. Ah, oh, come on, Taz. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It seems the more Angle accomplishes, and he's accomplished a lot, the more of a jerk he becomes. I don't even want to have this conversation with you, Cole. If you can't respect a real American hero like Kurt Angle, I can't respect you. Of course, you know, I kind of respect you to begin with, but you know what? That's beside the point. He's in trouble, Cole. I am telling you. His opponents really soften him up. And now one good submission move could end this match. I feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. Could be a finishing move right here. He saw that one coming. He's got his opponent on the ropes. There he goes. Drop the dime. Six one nine. Oh no! I think he's bleeding from that last shot. Whoa! You're not kidding, Cole. He's busted wide open. Hey, there, take a look at him, ref. One, two, he certainly in the ring. Well, there you have it, Cole. He did it.
bad player. Get a little beat up, did you? Maybe having some trouble getting to your feet? Well, you're still in better shape than I was after you ran me down, dog. And since you're still standing, I'm gonna go ahead and book you in a very special match this Sunday at No Way Out. I gotta admit, you're tougher than I figured, player. I never thought you'd make it to No Way Out. But I can just about guarantee that you won't survive it. You see, this Sunday, in the pay-per-view main event, it's gonna be you against Eddie Guerrero. And Kurt Angle. And WWE Champion John Cena. A three-on-one, hell in a cell, handicap match. Kenny Long's putting the screws to this guy for sure. I didn't ever think he could even have a three-on-one hell in a cell match. I'll tell you right now, there's no way this guy's going to survive that.